this segment of the wrap rejuvenation of this flat in Amsterdam using cover style interior film and tips and tricks from the Wrap Institute is you're going to see this muddled white table transformed into one that has a crocodile finish. We'll begin with cleaning. Here, taking Surface Cleaner 2 from SOT and really making sure all those edges are properly degreased. Then thoroughly spray the main surface down with SOT Surface Cleaner 2. Then come back in with this wide plastic scraper and work it left to right, top to bottom in order to remove any tiny specks that have built up on the top layer. Then absorb any of the moisture into a nice microfiber towel and we're ready to apply cover style primer. This will help the interior film hold the table for the long term so there's no issues with lifting up over time. Be sure to place the cover style primer on the corners, on the edges, and be extra thorough during this process. A good tip is to continually load the brush so it's full of the primer to so make sure that all the edges get the exact same amount. And note that it needs to dry for around 20 minutes before the install can begin. So during that 20 minute window, it's a good time to prep the panel. When measuring the piece, be sure to check the sides as well as the main surface area and also account for extra material. Always make sure there's around three inches of extra material left, right, top to bottom. This is called bleed. Once the panel has been trimmed down to size, it's time to prep the backing paper. This is a special cutting tool from SOT where if the liner is released from the interior wrapping film, it can be placed in between and it simply only cuts the backing paper. Cut a section of the liner roughly 10 centimeters wide from side to side. Fold over a section of the liner so it's easy to pull once the material is flipped over. And once the piece is on the table with the liner side facing down, make sure it fits left to right. Lock in the exposed section of the liner. Pick the other side up. Now pull the tab all the way across. Now the adhesive of the panel is facing onto the table. Once it's set, make sure the panel lays flat, then squeegee it into position. This is called a permanent hinge. This holds the panel firmly onto the table. Now the liner can be released from one half of the panel. It's flipped over and be sure to keep the liner on just long enough to squeegee roughly 30 or 40 centimeters past that initial hinge. Always use a squeegee with a felt buffer on it. Release the entire liner low and flat across the table, then squeegee with firm overlapping squeegee strokes. Repeat the exact same process for the other side. Flip the panel over, release the liner, roughly 30 to 40 centimeters, squeegee it onto the surface. And once it's close to the backing paper, release it all the way, then squeegee all the way to the edge. Once everything's set on the edge, now it's time to focus on the corners. Take the heat gun, add a little bit of heat to the corner so it shrinks, form it into place, then make what's called a relief cut. Fold one piece of the panel on top, add heat to the top edge now, so it conforms and run a finger so there's a tight seal. This is very important to do. Then once the material gets down to the bottom edge, make another relief cut. Then trim the excess film away, roughly one centimeter on the other side. Fold a little piece under, which will be cut away later. Once this is done, trim off a little bit of the excess film to make this panel easier to work around. Add heat so it relaxes on that top corner. Form it around with a finger in an application glove. And once set on this side, make a tiny little cut right on the inside edge so that overlap disappears. This should be clean and flush on the inside of one portion so it has a good long-term hold. Once both corners are done, now it's time to finish the film in the middle of the area. Add heat so it softens the film. Once the film is nice and relaxed, pinch that top corner so it has a nice tight seal, then form the film to the bottom outside edge. Work in increments from the right to the left towards the middle. Try not to squeegee too much at one time. Once the sides are close to the middle, add heat, pinch the corner again, then relax the film as much as you can towards the bottom. Try not to heat and stretch as this will overstretch the film. Once all the material is wrapped around the underside, place fine line tape just on the inside edge and use this as a guide to cut away the excess film. Here, using a nice stainless steel blade with a 30 degree angle, cut from one side to the other, again along the edge of the blue tape for a nice symmetrical edge. Once cut, remove the excess film, then remove the fine line tape and do a final check over on all the edges to make sure that they're 100% sealed. And once they are, well, that's a wrap.
And keep in mind that wrapping the table not only transforms the way it looks, it also helps dramatically in terms of maintenance. Here, coffee was spilled on the table. Instead of worrying about stains or damaging the table, see how easily it cleans up. And here's a shot of the final result. And as you can see with the great tips and tricks from the Wrap Institute and tools and material from CoverStyle, you can dramatically transform a dining room table in just a matter of minutes. To upgrade an object like this in your office or home with interior wrap film, keep in mind that you can go to CoverStyle.com or a CoverStyle distributor in your region to purchase the wrap film and hire a professional installer. Or you can even do it yourself using the tips and tricks from this video or a more detailed video for professionals that is on the Wrap Institute. You can also take a workshop at CoverStyle headquarters in Luxembourg to get hands-on training as well. And be sure to check out the other videos in this wrap rejuvenation series on this flat in Amsterdam to get inspired and for great install tips and tricks.